Welcome to this small session. Today, I am going to discuss about uh, how to go through an article that means which is published in a journal or as a or as a proceedings. This particular article which you are trying to see or which I have shared here is about energy proceedings. I think you are able to see this. You know, this is published in energy proceedings. And uh, this volume, the volume of this particular article is 31 and it's published in the year 2023. The title of the article, if you just see the title of the article here, title of the article is Process Evaluation and Optimization of Acetone Dehydration with Advanced Heat Integration Technology by the Techno Economic Analysis. Next. So, who are the authors of this uh, particular article? There are three authors. One, two, no, four authors. There are four authors involved in this. And definitely, by looking at uh, the numbering of the authors, you know, by, uh, by the numbering given uh, to the authors, we can understand certain, certain, certain researchers are uh, first authors, certain, certain researchers are the uh, what you call corresponding authors in this particular uh, work, in this particular efforts actually they have kept. Okay, if I look at, uh, you know, if I if I try to see this uh, particular, you know, Zim Gavo one comma two and it is given as a a small star to his particular, you know, authorship as a superscript. I can see this. Okay, so we might we might say he is the key person involved in this. But who is the first author in this particular uh, work? Actually, when that is also there, he he becomes the first author of the uh, study. That also we can actually understand by this uh, you know, nomenclature or the notation scheme what we are following here. Okay, now <clears throat> coming down. You can see their affiliation also, how these are one and two. It is given School of Chemical Engineering and Technology, National Engineering Research Center for Distillation Technology, Tianjin University, Tianjin, China. Okay. And uh, the other author is um, high, uh, high Laboratory of Sustainable Chemical Transformations, Tianjin, China. So, so there is a, he has written is, who is the corresponding author? The corresponding author, as we understand, is the named Zim Yang. Okay. So now how to go through this uh, particular what do you call it, article? So our main aim should be to look at number one means abstract. So what is the number one? Number one means abstract. So in the abstract, generally they will try to express what is that main focus of the work and later they will give it what you call uh, the methodology adopted in attaining a results and they will also try the authors will also try to tell about tell about the uh, what you call expected outcomes of the particular work so number one what we have to look at is what is the abstract what is the abstract? So this is the abstract here. What we are saying, this is the abstract. So this is the abstract. So this is the first section or first focus of your understanding of this particular article. See, I am looking at a what you call research work where uh, I want acetone to be dehydrated. That means water from acetone has to be removed. Okay. Because acetone and acetone and water, as is, they do not form any azeotrope, but there is a pinch point which will be formed in between them at around 99.4% or something like that, and water will be around 0.5%. So my interest is actually to understand how to dehydrate that particular moisture content in that. that. <clears throat> now let us go ahead down. So if I still uh, uh, try to... Uh, now, next work, next part is we have to go down at the what is the conclusion section. Okay. Generally, conclusion section is given, or it might be a conclusion section, it can be a results and discussion section, 
it can be anything but at the end there will be something called conclusion or results now take up that particular conclusion section and try to understand in what way they are trying to write about this conclusion conclusion they will try to give you the what you call uh, how what method is best or what method is better when compared to the other methods and uh, at the same time what is the results from each method and uh, if we adopt one particular uh, system or one particular algorithm one particular uh, procedure uh, what is the uh, what is the you know, composition analysis see we are looking at dehydration process from which particular which particular activity which particular method we will be getting more uh, efficiency or like that so everything will be given in detail you can see here in the conclusion they have given it as point wise understanding of the work after going through the abstract and conclusion you should understand whether this paper is suitable for you for your work or not then uh, what do you call uh, pick up uh, then pick up then go try try to go into the sections okay next one comes is after looking at the uh, what do you call the required abstract and conclusions now you take a you try to go down and see the figures first of all you can see the what do you call pictorial diagrams which are represented you can see this is a one pictorial diagram this says three column you know he says it says three column acetone refining process model this is this is number one so there is one diagram which i am able to see in this particular thing so uh, by by looking at this particular uh, uh, schematic we will be in a position to understand very very uh, what do you call uh, in a concise manner okay let us go to the second diagram so this is this is another diagram they are trying to give you the energy consumption see energy consumption variation with the different operating operating pressures how the energy consumption is related you can see then you will be uh, uh, we will be able to understand how they have produced the results that means at each and every point how their data has been obtained okay that is one more thing next let's let us see one more figure now the, there is one more operation here there is one more figure which is figure 3 so likewise try to go to each and every figure now see in the figure 3 how they have shown is optimization results for the typical process that means they have adopted they might be they might have adopted certain things and they have given they are trying to give the results so likewise and after going through these uh, figures uh, try to go through the tables see in this diagram or in this particular research article there are there is one table which i am able to see here they are trying to give you know in a what is all uh, in one particular table they are showing everything here they are trying to talk in terms of the product theories now right after that after that now by this we will get a basic understanding of this article that means how the authors how the researchers have taken up this particular work we will be able to understand the next one is what we have to go to the sections different sections available after abstract what is the next section available you go to the next section actually so next section is introduction part and then then comes you know the process description the optimization under process description again there is something called 2.1 model description 2.2 is parameter optimization and uh, uh, we'll again go down you can see uh, three third now they have come into third one now each integration improvement has been given under each integration improvement if you go down you know uh, uh, browse through the article again so the heat integration he has discussed in one particular section and fourth one is structures with different product purity that has been uh, what is called uh, as a produce and uh, the next last one fifth one of course we have seen conclusion but after this uh, they have acknowledged you know they have acknowledged who have contributed to this particular article at the end go to the reference and see how the references have been kept into this uh, what is the uh, used in this particular research article or you know in this particular research what has been referred to to come to this particular stage of the uh, what you call production okay 
I uh, hope you all might have understood about this. If you have any doubts, you can reach out to me. Definitely I shall uh, help you in better understanding. Bye.